As always, it's I, so good. My favorite line is the whole like we've moved on from advanced mathematics. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look into a video that has been long recommended. Well, not exactly, long recommended. Not just, not exactly this video, but this from the series Black Adder. I wanted to just do a few short little clips, uh, see what we thought, see what you guys thought, and then maybe we'll look into doing more of like a full episode. Ooh, that could be nice. Or something like that. This to, is just a taste. Yes. Just to see what we think. I know this is a very, very renowned like British uh, show, beloved. I guess I should say beloved. Yes, beloved. Uh, so yeah, I don't want to just do like a. Is top it an older show too? I think so. Okay. I don't want to just do like a top ten or something. I just want to do maybe some of the clips. famous skits. I just want to get kind of a, a idea of what it is for us, <laughs> and also to see if you guys like it. Yes. Uh, and then we might do more. So anyway, guys, that's what we're doing here today. It's going to be teaching an idiot basic maths because you guys say maths and not math, which is like which, a tongue twister in itself. Which makes more sense. Math. Maths makes more sense, but it sounds weird saying it for us. It does. It sounds very So anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, we are an American couple. We live in Kansas, which is a uh, part of the Midwest of the United States. The and we do reaction videos and try to learn about things outside of the U.S. Anyway, guys, we're going to be checking out this clip from Black Adder. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope we enjoy Right, Maury. Let's try again, shall we? <clears throat> this is called adding. If I have two beans, and then I add two more beans, what do I have? Some beans. <laughs> yes. And no. Let's try again, shall we? I have two beans. Then I add two more beans. What does that make? A very small casserole. Baldrick, <laughs> the ape creatures of the Indus have mastered this. Now try again. One, two, three, four. So how many are there? Three. What? And that one. Three. Three. That one. Oh. And that one. So if I add that one to the three, what will I have? Oh, some beans. <laughs> yes. To you, Baldrick, the Renaissance was just something that happened to other people, wasn't it? <laughs> Edmund, Edmund, come quickly. The Queen wants to see you. What? I said, uh, Edmund, Edmund, come quickly. The Queen wants to see you. Finish. What are you wearing round your neck? Ah, it's my new ruff. You look like a bird who swallowed a plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's the latest fashion, actually, and as a matter of fact, it makes me look rather sexy. To another plate-swallowing bird, perhaps? <laughs> he was blind and hadn't had it in months. <laughs> I think you may be wrong. You're a sad, laughable figure, aren't you, Percy? What do you think of Percy's rough, Baldrick? Four. What? <laughs> some beans and some beans is four no, beans. No, we've moved on from advanced mathematics. We're on to elementary <laughs> dressmaking. What do you think of Percy's rough? <clears throat> it's so weird seeing Rowan Atkinson talk so much. I'm so used to watching him as Mr. Bean, so seeing him in other types of comedy is really interesting. And hearing him talk. So now we've moved on from advanced mathematics. We're on to elementary mathematics. dressmaking. What do you think of Percy's rough? I think he looks like a bird who swallowed a plate, my lord. No, that's what I think. That's what I think. What do you think? Try to have a thought of your own, Baldrick. Thinking <laughs> is so important. What do you think? I think thinking is so important, my lord. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> I'm off to see the Queen. Uh, should I come too, my lord? No, best not. People might think we're friends. <laughs> Stay here with Warwick. Bird neck and bird brain. You should get on like a house on fire. <laughs> Let's take a look, shall we? Who's first into the head basket then? Admiral uh, Lord Effingham and Sir Francis Drake on Monday. Oh, uh, so, what'd you think? <laughs> that was pretty funny. I think we should watch some more. It's very witty. It definitely seemed very. Like the British humor. Yes, yes. Like making, uh, what, what are they, like, self not self deprecation, like taking the piss out one of them. Oh, yeah. That kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yep. That's pretty good, though. I like that character of his for sure. I like my favorite. Know it all, but he actually my, does. My favorite line is the whole, like, we've moved on from advanced mathematics. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well we're gonna go straight into another clip of Black Adder. Uh, this is a bullet with my name on it. The one with Rowan Atkinson? Because apparently he's in a lot of these. He might be in all of them, I don't know. Baldrick. What are you doing out there? I'm carving something on this bullet, sir. What are you carving? I'm carving Baldrick, sir. <laughs> Why? It's a cunning plan, actually. Of course it is. You see, you know they say that somewhere there's a bullet with your name on it. <laughs> Well, I thought if I owned the bullet with my name on it, I'd never get hit by it. Because <laughs> I won't ever shoot myself. Oh, shame. 
The chances of there being two bullets with my name on them are very small indeed. It's, it's not the only thing around here that's very small indeed. <laughs> Your brain, for example. It's so minute, Baldrick, that if a hungry cannibal cracked your head open, there wouldn't be enough inside to cover a small water biscuit. <laughs> Tally ho, hey. pip, pip, and Bernard's your uncle. In English, like we say that. good morning. Hugh Larry is from House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget he's British. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he's he's also... British in House, too, right? No. No, he, played, he, no he, he played American. American. Yeah. Okay. I, it, I think he had a pretty decent American accent. Yeah. He also played, though, like, 102 Dalmatians, or 101, I think, 102 Dalmatians. He's been in a lot. He's a very, he's a he's a big actor. Yeah. He was also in Catch Twenty Two. Ah uh, yes, he's a good actor. Tally ho, pip pip, and Bernard's your uncle. In English, we say good morning. <laughs> Look what I got for you, sir. What? It's the latest issue of King and Country. Oh, damn inspiring stuff. The magazine that tells the Tommies the truth about the war. Or alternatively, the greatest work of fiction since Vows of Fidelity were included in the French marriage service. <laughs> come, come, sir. Now, you can't deny that this fine newspaper is good for the morale of the men. Certainly not. I just think that more could be achieved by giving them some real toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> not with you at all, sir. What could any patriotic chap have against this magnificent mag? Apart from his bottom? Yes. <laughs> well, look at it. I mean, the stuff's about as convincing as Dr. Crippen's defence lawyer. <laughs> the British Tommies are all portrayed as six foot six with biceps the size of Bournemouth. <laughs> Thoroughly inspiring stuff. And now look, sir, it's also just arrived for you this morning. Hmm. Do you know what this is, Lieutenant? Oh, it's a good old service revolver. Wrong. It's a brand new service revolver, which I've <laughs> suspiciously been sent without asking for it. I smell something fishy. And I'm not talking about the contents of Baldrick's apple crumble. <laughs> okay, now I'm curious to where that clip went. <laughs> yeah. Like, this whole skit and everything behind it. Well, because it kind of went into, like, a mystery type yeah, thing. Yeah, like, I think there's a lot more to that. But that was a good introduction, I think. I wonder if Blackadder is... I'm assuming it's obviously comedy. Yeah. Comedy drama, maybe? And obviously, they change the characters up, so I don't know if it's, like, for a whole season they play the same characters, or if every episode is different. So That'd far, interesting to know. it kind of reminds me of uh, Money Python's Flying Circus, where they just have different skits and ideas that they just portray, and they do that skit, and then... Yeah, but there's seasons they're... of this show. Blackadder. Well, there are seasons of that, too. It's just oh, really? they just jump from skit to skit, and it's like a whole new thing. Oh, okay. The, uh, I, I don't know. I haven't seen the Monty Python. Anyway, I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah. I, I, I definitely want to check out more. I guess, I'm guessing it's probably early, I want to say, oof, 80s, 90s? Late 90s. Early 2000, maybe. Sort of tough. Anyway, guys, let us know down in the comments below if we should check out more Black Adder. I know one thing I have come across, uh, again, from all the suggestions, is they say skip season one. Huh. So apparently it's like The Office. So you just <laughs> skip season one. Uh, Except uh, the British season one is all they had of The Office. Then they have two seasons of the British Office. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, that was our introduction to Black Adder. I hope the skits were okay. Yeah. Um, Send the, us your recommendations. There's, there's probably too. better ones, but I just I just wanted to get like a little taste of it, and I'm glad we did. So yeah. I, as always, it's I, so good. As always, I really do enjoy sharing this with you guys because it is a lot of fun to get all these comments about like, oh no, you should check out this or this one's better <laughs> or just like all these little like critiques, critiques, and, and these people like all suggestions, all, all these all this information like, oh no, he was actually this or he was I don't it's know. Like we had no idea. Oh my gosh! But thank you so much for letting us know. Yeah, it's just great sharing things like this with you all of you. So I really do appreciate you guys. As always, though, we will catch you guys on the next one. Again, the best place to send suggestions is on Discord, Instagram, and then the comments down below please be safe take care look after one another stay healthy and we'll catch you guys in the next one cheers mm -hmm.